Alright, so perspective projections, let's talk about those. Um, quickly type that in. So, um, so let's start with one point perspective. So, so oops, sorry. One point perspective. So what does that look like? Well, um, let's do my construction lines here. So what we're going to see is, and you know, we're talking about it from the point of view of identifying these drawings. So the main feature, or one of the main features, is that your front face is actually true shape. Right, so it's actually a square. And then the rest of it goes back to a point being the vanishing point. And since it's one point perspective, there's only one vanishing point. So, join those up, like that. This is a, an unfortunate special case where these two lines actually coincide. Just to erase this, even though I tell you not to erase things. Um, so this is a special case in which these two are uh, lined up, so it's a little bit tricky, um, but I'll show you another one in just a second. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you just decide on the depth. And there we go. So there's my construction lines. Now to do my outlines in black. So clearly I'm going to see the front face and the side face here. Like that. Um, I'm going to quickly also show you how to... Uh, is this working? Let me just get rid of these things. In fact, start again. Um, right, so start again with my, my gray square for my construction lines. Like that. Now, this time I'm going to have the, the vanishing point. In fact, I'll just move this down a bit. This time I'm going to have my vanishing point well above the object. So there it is, vanishing point. And let's just join those up. All right. When you do these drawings, make sure that you go from the object to the vanishing point, because if you don't quite hit the vanishing point, it doesn't really matter too much. But if you don't hit the corners, that makes it a little bit more difficult to understand your drawings. And then the back is also true shape. All right. So remember, front surface, true shape. The back surface is also true shape, but it's actually smaller, so it's not to scale but it is the actual shape of it. So then my outlines, right, let's just use blue because it's a bit more interesting. So there we go. All right, so there's your one point perspective, one point perspective, your horizon line. There you go. So what are the features of a one point perspective? So firstly, front, is true shape. Then all of the other lines, all other lines go to one to one vanishing point. Okay? But really if you're looking at a drawing and you're thinking, well look, I think this is a perspective drawing, I wonder whether it's one point or two point, really what you've got to look for is, is that is this front surface, Is can I see any front surfaces that look true shape? If you can, then most likely you're dealing with a one-point perspective. Alright, let's move on to two-point perspective. Okay, so two-point perspective. Uh, let's move that down. Okay, um, so in a two-point perspective Again, um, you're going to be looking for things that are vanishing into the distance. Um, so let me just put in my horizon line. Let's be working in grey. So my horizon line, I'm going to put it quite high up on the page so you can see what's happening. Um, and in this case, I'm going to show where my two vanishing points are here. Vanishing point one and vanishing point two. Right. Um, now, in a vanish in a 
one point, sorry, in a two point perspective, we're going to look at the corner first of our object. So here's the corner, and then from that, those corners, so that's the height of my cube, I'm going to go back into my two vanishing points, like that. Then I'm going to decide on what the distance is into the page that I'm going to go. So I'm going to go this distance in this case. There we go. Something like that. Right, and so that is basically my drawing. That actually, that kind of cheated there. I didn't go back properly back to the vanishing point. So there, um, if I now do my outline, is, oh, I was going to use some different colors. Uh, let's use green. So there is my object. You know, and obviously, both one point and two points perspective, one of the advantages of them is that they are kind of naturalistic in the sense that this is how we see the world. We see the world in a kind of perspective way, in that as things get further away from us, they start looking smaller. Ooh, I tried doing that a bit faster than that, but you know, you get the idea. The cubes get smaller and smaller. So how do we recognize a two-point perspective from all of the other types of drawings that there are out there? So the first hint is that there might be two vanishing points. So you might see that things are going out into the distance and, you know, they might end up at these vanishing points. However, often these vanishing points actually are off the page. So you can't really rely on that necessarily. But what you can look at is are you looking at the corner of something to begin with? Are you looking at the corner of an object and then it goes back in two directions towards some vanishing points? Right. So again, um, looking at the types of lines that we are expecting to see, we're expecting to see vertical lines, right? so vertical lines, and all the other ones go back to the vanishing point. Right. So really you only have two different types of lines here. So you have the ones that go to the vanishing point, uh, sorry, that are vertical, right, to give height, and then the others which go to the, so all others, two vanishing points, VPs. Um, and I think that's really it. So that's how you recognize two-point perspectives. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually recognize these drawing methods in actual real drawings as opposed to you know how do you draw them is a slightly different question from how do you recognize them um, so that's what we're going to do in the next um, video